Hey everyone, Six Hoops here. I'm a pretty decent fan of the How to Train Your Dragon like franchise, not the book wise, um, uh, but the more movie sense. Uh, the TV show it was pretty good, and well, watching the TV show, I thought it'd be cool maybe to have an RPG game of it. Uh, you would have your character creation, and then you could get it, get your own dragon. Now, it wouldn't be, oh, here's a list, select, slide, 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 that's your dragon. No, it would be a bit more different. You get to pick out a five dragons, dragons, and it wouldn't be just the main cast. Sometimes it'd just be coincidence that the only main cast are available, or maybe it would just be at the beginning they would do that. But after a certain time, I'm thinking maybe a month, they would change the dragons. So it wouldn't include any of the dragons that were in the last month's selection and then but it'd be new now of course once you have your own dragon you don't get a switch but of course you can always make a new character it's, it's like or I'm always holding out for this dragon here and then you know at first you just try it out and then we see so getting your dragon how does that process work well you go to the arena there would be the five dragons available and then from that those dragons you um, select one and then you do a special questionnaire survey. Now you would have to answer some things and then there'd be this gate, gauge, and then there'd be the left thing and the right. And for that, if it's once it completely goes to the left, you can't stop. Oh, you get like swatted with the tail, and then they say, Oh, you better read the book, the dragons, or try a new dragon. And so if you really don't care about any of them and you just want to do that, you can do that. But if it goes completely to the right side, you know, it, um, you get the dragon. Now, if it's more pretty close to it after you answer all the questions, you can get the dragon. If it's more close to that, same situation, you get swatted away. Now, beforehand, you can always go, like, you can first see what dragons are there, then you can just leave read the book, and then on the info of the dragon that you want. But of course if you don't care and you just want to guess, that's fine. Now, once you do get your dragon, you can of course pick its name and all that. And then you get a chance to do a training thing. The training would be an aerial thing, you don't have to do it, you can go straight to it, but if you are new it would be probably good so you understand a bit. It includes, you know, how to walk, sprint, fly, and attack using your dragon. And once you get it, well, you can pick your own uh, type of well, saddle for your dragon. And just the same. Now, this would be an MMORPG, and the quest line, the quest would be a bit different. This isn't like a series of quests you would do leading something, going to the new place. No, they would all be like stuff you can do around the place. Some things would happen every day, some things are every week, some are every month, some are like once a year thing. And then there'd be some things that are just completely random, these events. These events would, um, sometimes it would be, oh, it happened today, and it happened right after, and then sometimes it's months apart. So, it seemed a bit more like a real life thing, I believe. Now, something that would happen every day would include maybe, like, herding animals. So animals would be running around, you're asked them to herd them around, you know, use your attack to hit the ground and then get them into the respected areas. Some things that are weekly, I can't think of one. I guess a lot of... Um, so like the weekly thing of course would be random it's not like oh this week again this time I'm with the monthly or stuff like that now it's only the day ones are oh every day I can come back and do this and this gives me my XP this gives me a little money this gives me a reward all that stuff now other examples of quests would be um, well I said the hurting animals one was if you saw the show you noticed the eggs get stolen, and then a dragon attacks. Now, sometimes it would be that dragon on the show, sometimes that, but the whole event here 
is really you trying to fend off dragons, find eggs, and keep them from attacking people while putting out house fires. It's a neat thing. It happened randomly. I guess that would be maybe a month thing. So, like, that would always happen randomly one time of the month. Some person just picked up some eggs, thought they were cool looking rocks, and then that's up to you. Find them. Now, of course, for these, it's not, oh, just go start this event. No, the quest here, I'm saying are event like things because they just happen. If they, if you're in the area, then you can get it. But if you're not, you're doing something else. Yeah, so I'm guessing the things that would be random events would be more of the world bosses. Like every good MMORPG has world bosses. So, you know, the Red Death in the movie. It would be a random place. It would attack. And then you and other players have to fend off the dragon. Hmm. Yearly things would be more probably like holiday events. And so there was that Olympic one. There would be the Christmas slash dragon mating. <laughs> um, um, yeah. <laughs> and then I guess there would also be seasonal events. I just thought of that. Where... It'd be kind of a different thing. I guess they're hurting animals, but it'd be a bit more of a time limit where, oh, you have only this so much time, so it'd be a bit more extreme, but you'd probably get a better reward for them. So I guess seasonal events would count. Same events as during times, but if it's at this one time, then you get, it's harder, but you get better stuff from it. Now, of course, there would be combat. Like I said, combat is usually on your dragon using its breath attack. Now, each one would have a certain thing. Some of them are just an attack where you would, you can use it, just let it, the spell thing, just circle around. So, then you can use it again. Some of them you can use in rapid succession, like doom, 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 but then you have to wait for it to go around. And then I'm pretty sure there'd be other. There'd be also, like, probably using its tails, its wings, claws, biting. But then sometimes you can get off. Uh, like, sometimes one of the events would be more it's likely you helping. There's an injured dragon, and before hell can come out, you have to save it from boars. Now there'd be a whole bunch, so it's up to you to get off your dragon. Now, of course, if you have people helping, I guess it would be possible. Bit, but, man... Most of the time, you can just be you and your dragon able to do this, happen to get off, and then just keep them from hurting it anymore. It's simple, it's easy. So, I think I got everything. Tell me what you think. If there is something you don't like about it, please do say what it is and why you don't like it. If you do like it, or if you... If not find something a little confusing, please just be free to say. Alright? Till next time.